everyone. Uh, so in this video, I'd like to go over the newly added um, waterfall tab to the hotel acquisition model. So this tab gives you the ability to model up to um, four tiers using IRR hurdles, and it's really broken out into three sections. We have our promote structure section, which is where all of our inputs are. And then we have the cash flow section below. And then to the right of the promote structure section, we have our returns. All right, so let's go through how this module works and we'll start um, in the promote structure section. So before we walk through this, as a reminder, all um, percentages on this tab that are in blue um, can and should be altered um, by the user according to whatever terms they are uh, working with. So let's start from the top. Um, we have our equity split, so any negative cash flow is split amongst the partners accordingly. So in this example, we have 90%, uh, 10% split to the LP and GP respectively. So um, we can always alter this if we want. Let's say we want to make this an 85-15 split. All you need to do is alter the um, alter cell C6, which has the blue um, text, and it will adjust accordingly. And so these two cells um, in the equity split section will impact row 36, which is our, um, it's within our limited partner distribution calc section. It's the capital contribution. So it impacts row 36 as well as um, row 43. And so we can just do a double check really quickly. Um, so this 2.5 million should be 10% of our um, total equity contribution. And so this will play out all the way through. If there's ever any additional equity that needs to be put in or there's a cash shortfall, um, partners will contribute according to the equity split in these two rows. All right, so in tier one in our example, um, we have um, a peri pursu split of profits up until 10%. Um, so, our LP and GP will split profits peri pursuit up until 10% IRR. And so, if we scroll down into our cash flow section, and let me pull this out a little bit so you can see a little further. You can see the entire model. You can see that both our LP and our sponsor are hitting a 10% IRR. So below that, we have our money available for further distribution. And in our example right now, we have 77,000, or I'm sorry, $77.6 million left over to further distribute. All right, so in tier two, um, our general partner is um, receiving a 15% uh, promote. So um, the way this is working out is that um, of the remaining 85% of the proceeds, um, our limited partner is getting 90% of that. So 90% of 85% is this 76.5%. And then 10% of this 85% is 8.5%. So when you add this up, it equals 100%. And so the profits are split um, accordingly up until the LP hits a 12% IRR because our GP is now getting a disproportionate share of the proceeds. So until the LP hits its 12%, um, the GP is going to be collecting a lot more cash in relation to what it put in. Um, so at first, the GP in this example was only getting 10% of the proceeds. Once it hit um, the 10% hurdle, now it's receiving the 15 plus the 8.5. So it's getting 23.5% of the proceeds. So this is an outside share. And that's why um, it's really just until the LP hits 12%. And if we scroll down to tier two, you can see our LP hits 12 and then our sponsor hits 14.8%. And in this video, I'm not going to go into the details about um, how this model is working. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use it. Um, maybe for another video, um, I can walk through the details of how this is working. And if there is any interest, feel free to contact me or you can comment um, on this video as well, and I'd be happy to create a video if that's of interest. 
All right, and so um, really tier three works the same as tier two, um, except this time if there is proceeds left over after our LP hits 12%, and in this model there is, there's still $67 million. So um, once we pass tier two, our GP is now getting 20% of the promote. So of the 80%, our GP is still getting 10%, so that's 8%, and our LP is getting 90% of 80, which is 72. So now our GP gets 28%, and our LP is getting 72%. And this happens up until our LP hits 15%. So if we go to Tier 3, we can see that our LP is 15%, and our sponsor, or GP, is hitting a 21.6% IRR. And then we have our final tier, which we now see we have um, money available for distribution. We still have 45.7 million. So if we pass tier three, our GP is going to receive 30% of anything, uh, any proceeds that are above um, the 15% hurdle rate. And so. Here we have our GP taking 30% and our LP is taking the remaining 70%. And then below that we have all of our cash flow rolled up into one. And here we have um, our LP has a total of 19.5% IRR while our, while our, while our sponsor um, hit a 30% IRR. Um, so that really walks you through the promote structure section and the cash flow section. And then finally to the right, we have um, our return metrics. So we have our cash outflow, our profit, our IRR, and then our multiple uninvested capital. And so this will flow back to the summary tab. And you can see all of our returns are here. And one final thing is that this has been conditional formatted. So if you're updating the hold period, let's say we want uh, five years, um, this will update accordingly. So you can see our waterfall model um, conditional formatted to only show the five year hold. All right, and I think that is everything. One thing I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to update this um, title to from interest pay. This is not exactly correct. It's it's really proceeds available or proceeds paid out. Um, so that will be looking different on the model that you're walking through. All right, and that is everything. So thanks for watching, and until next time.